Hey guys. Oh, look at that. What the fuck? Hey guys. <laughs> so, welcome to another vlog. Um, I just uploaded... I have hair. I swear I have hair. Um, I just uploaded my last vlog and I'm gonna do a sheet mask. I'm like vowing to just use a sheet mask every single day <laughs> because I have so many. So this is one of those, um, Mitomo ones. If you ever see these at TJ Maxx, they are fire. They're really good. Definitely give them a try. So I cleansed using Truly Beauty. I did an exfoliator, a chemical um, peel from Alginist. And then I also did a clay mask from Caudalie. And my skin is feeling really amazing. So I'm gonna let this sit probably just for like 10 minutes or so and then finish my skincare routine. And then when I come back in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you guys probably doing a little bit more like cleanup and packing and speed through some more of that. So one second. All right, so I've got 30% battery. <laughs> So I'm just going to record until it runs out and then speed through that. So I'm just going to bag everything up and then I'm going to have my organizer stacked neatly in boxes, you know, with a little bit of padding and then the makeup separate. So honestly, what I'm going to have to do is just go through and reorganize everything. I don't mind that because I will have a lot of time to do it and I can kind of declutter. I literally just started recording and my battery is like dead. <laughs> Let me change my battery. All right, hey guys, so I am doing a little skincare. Fresh black tea kombucha essence. I really like this one. I feel like it just refines the texture a little bit. I feel like my skin is a sponge. Like once I use it, I'm like really ready to pull everything in. Yeah, I've been using it consistently. I feel like essences are one of those things that just kind of like sneak up on you. You can kind of be thinking like, oh, it's not really working. And then all of a sudden you take it out of your routine and you're like, something's different. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm in one of those like horribly wishy-washy moods. I can't decide what I want to do with myself. I kind of like lounged around, emails, things like that. I was editing a little Instagram thing, but I was like, okay, let me go. I need to go to the post office. I need to mail something and then maybe go to Target. I need a storage container for more of my like fall slash Halloween slash Thanksgiving stuff. I have one and then I have just stuff and it's been like that for two years. I'm like, okay, I need one. I don't know if they're gonna have the color though because I like to like color coordinate <laughs> with seasonal decorations. So I feel like I'm not gonna go. I was thinking I could go do that, but I have a short shift tomorrow. So I feel like I can just leave the house a little bit early tomorrow, hit up the post office, hit up Target. I'm just in one of those moods where I just can't decide what I wanna do and nothing feels quite right. Is that, do you guys get in those moods too or is that just me? I'm using Kopari Starry Eye Balm. I do have my code with Kopari is just Amy, A-M-I-E, it's my first name. They adjusted it. So I guess like it got on some like coupon code website or something. So they changed my code, but it's just Amy. So I feel like that's nicer because it's the same for my Nug and for goalie it's all just amy so i'm like sweet i like that they're the same hopefully i don't have to freaking change that code again i need to grab a moisturizer that i already have open because i just finished my ula henriksen one i really liked it and you guys can tell i'm so wishy-washy today so i'm basically going to finish my skincare i'm going to put some leave-in conditioner and put my hair up in a little you know hair towel thingy let me grab it i don't know what else i'm gonna do i feel like i need to accomplish a little bit more today but 
sometimes you need to just like listen to your body and my body is saying like bitch you need to chill and you need to relax but that bitch says that a lot anyway um so that's it for now if i do anything even remotely remarkable i will vlog it so i hope you guys are doing good i'll talk to you later hey guys so it is thursday check out my shirt can some coffee oh what are you doing you doing crazy need a baby you so crazy crazy <laughs> okay oh get your pig you don't want your pig? You want a different one? Let's see. What about the llama? Maybe. What about the crazy chicken? Okay. Well, all right. He ran over to be in the, in the video. Good boy. Do you want to give kisses? Mwah. Good boy. All right, so it is Thursday. Um, I have not progressed much on my packing over the next... Over the over the last couple of days I did a little bit of packing in my beauty room it's kind of a slow process because I don't really know where to start and I'm still like using a lot of it so I got some of my Alex drawers put away um, as far as all the product in it which I started showing you guys today I work 12 to 5 it is my last three days literally today and two more days of Sephora and I'm like you know like it's it's such a positive thing in so many ways but you know there's a little bit of like fear of like losing this like whole entire income um for me that like okay this isn't quite as stable as what i was before so i do have like a little hesitation with that but also like it's sad to leave the people that i work with who i love and i guess we are still going to dinner on sunday we were going to have like a going away dinner i don't think i told you guys but um for me and zach was going to go and all my people from work and i got to thinking about it and i'm like i don't know if people are comfortable with this so i said like look if people are not comfortable let's cancel it because i don't want anybody to feel like forced into going out with everything going on. So anyway, I guess we're still doing that on Sunday. So I work three days and then um, the day after my last day, we'll go to dinner. I'm also going to go to Home Goods and a different TJ Maxx that is like farther away. And I'm gonna look for some household stuff or their new place. I was hoping to start moving stuff in like this week, but unfortunately it's been raining so much that they have not put the new driveway in or sodded the front yard, um, which was things that were gonna be done before we move in. And unfortunately, like the forecast just freaking calls for rain every day. So they're trying to get that done and a few little like other things. Um, Cause again, this place is like newly renovated. Anyway, there's a lot going on. I'm gonna take Sunday to just like, you know, get ready, look cute, go shopping, go out to dinner, that kind of stuff. I have not done that in a while. Starting on Monday, it'll just be like full steam ahead with just packing everything up and hoping that during that week they can get stuff done at that house and be ready for us to move in. I'm a little stressed. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but it's good. It's for a good reason. And yeah, I... I don't know. Thank you guys so much for your really positive comments on my last vlog. I know that it was... Um, quite up and down a roller coaster event i'm doing better like it's still like crazy to me that that all happened like a week ago it just it still feels like kind of surreal so i've got about 20 yeah about 20 25 minutes before i have to go so i'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and just relax for a teensy bit i'm still only drinking um half calf in the morning i do notice too when i have like a full-on caffeinated drink oh dear 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 i do notice when i have like a full-on caffeinated drink later on the day my like my breast pain starts to get worse again and i'm like it's crazy how related that was because it definitely got better when i cut way down on caffeine so my ultimate goal i don't know if i'm trying to cut out caffeine like 100 percent, but i think my my goal will be to just do like the half calf in the morning and have no other caffeine throughout the day so anyway i'm off to work for a short day i am going to go to target after work and try to pick up a few essentials the cats only have like a teensy bit of food left so they're going to be like really bitching when i get home um but i'm going to pick up cat food on my way home so i will show you guys around target and what i'm looking at and yeah so i'll talk to you later my pineapple hints are still a dollar let me get a couple look at this elf collection this is cute Line and shine. Oh, they're all lip liners. Check out the palette. Primer 
oil. Look how pretty these Sonia Kasha Kashas are. So cute. Oh, they have a set for $40. I don't need these, but I really wanted to check out these nails. I saw people get the Ardell ones, they're super cute. Look at that scent. I think once I'm done packing, I want to try out some of these. This scent's really pretty. They're only $8, I think I'm gonna get these. Those are cute. Ooh. These little guys. Pretty and basic. That's cute. These are only six dollars. Ooh, these jelly ones. I think I might get these as well. Okay, that's enough. Okay, now I need to get stuff that I actually need. I need a new broom for the new place because we have hardwood floors. I also think I'm going to get this heavy duty duster, but I don't see like refills for it. I have a steam mop, but it's kind of thinking about one of those. Where's the brooms? These are all mops. The heel. A lot of necessities. But I need a storage bin. Preferably in fall colors. Look at this freaking basket. Oh, this is kind of cute. You guys like that? So kind of like this. I'm not much of a planty person usually but it's cute. Wait. Okay literally this is a good fall color I think but what y'all smoke Ambro? There's a clear one. This might have to do with the green lid. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm kind of like in this basket. Why are baskets so damn expensive? Thirty-seven dollars. I've said it before. I want to be a basket person. You know, this is not bad for like plastic storage. It actually looks decent enough. I like this basket too. It's kind of Friday. I have on a mask. Sorry if this is muffled, but it's my last couple days at Sephora. I can't really believe it, but. Here goes. Last two days. It's TJ Maxx time. We're going to dinner later. And I haven't been vlogging, but I'll talk more later. So let's look around. Got some of the shaking shots. Hey guys, so we are sitting, well, I'm sitting. Look at my, my hair just completely fell out. It's so rainy and stormy today. Um, right now it's not too bad, but we went in the TJ Maxx and I found some stuff for the bathroom, a couple things for the kitchen. So, ooh, makeup looking pretty cute. So I did okay, but we're gonna go to a home goods. I have about two hours until the dinner that we're going to and I swear I can, I can like see something. I can see something in the in my peripheral. Okay, anyway. So, uh, dinner's at 6.30. It is about 4.15 now. And we're gonna go to a home goods that is nearby. And then just depending, well, we're probably gonna have plenty of time. Um, there is like maybe 10 minutes away or maybe 15. There is a Marshalls and a 
another Home Goods and another TJ Maxx. So it just depends on how much time we have, but I was really interested in going to the Home Goods. So even if I just hit up both Home Goods, I think we've got plenty of time, but we're picking up a drink. I got a, oh, you guys ever seen my scar? She's ugly. Um, but I got a venti iced coffee. I'm splurging with real coffee. Um, I got toffee nut, asked for extra toffee nut and almond milk. So hopefully that'll be really good. Also, if you guys didn't know, Sol de Janeiro has Brazilian touch hand sanitizer. So your hands can smell like bum bum. It smells so good. And it's not like as overpowering as some of my like Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers where I'm like, oh my God, it's so like loud. So yeah, my outfit today, I have on this shirt from Boohoo. It says Three of Swords, super simple. It's kind of like a crop. And then my jeans are like ripped, high-waisted. So that's that. I'll talk to you guys or I'll show you guys when we're in Home Goods. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the car heading to Home Goods number two. I did an, a terrible job of trying to vlog and it is like a mandate to wear a mask, but there's a ton of people everywhere. And a lot of people are trying to like go in stores without masks, which is, I don't know, whatever. What do you think? People are stupid everywhere. You heard it here. So I'm drinking my iced coffee. I'm probably gonna regret this later when my heart is racing. But um, Home Goods number two, I will try to remember to do a better job of showing you. But I found lots of stuff for the kitchen, the bathroom, what else? I got myself a new pillow, which I needed. So we got some staples for the house. Yay. Yeah. We need bedside tables. And Zach just thought it would be hilarious to say that this one over here must be Lieutenant Dan's because it ain't got no legs. Mm, mm, mm. This is cute. Oh shit. I did a bad job of vlogging again. We got some jars, corky, posters. Wow. We're at dinner. Hi. <laughs> Y'all say hey to the Hi. vlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm awkward. Look at this little thing. <laughs> um, I started filming this little clip, but I didn't realize that my battery's about to die. But it is Sunday. I'm home from doing my shopping and having dinner with everyone that I worked with or several people that I worked with. I have my decaf now and I don't know. I really don't know how to feel. And I think it wasn't until like today, like actually saying goodbye to the majority of people that I was like, mm, this is happening. So I wanna show you guys a few things. Um, first off, one of my friends who I used to work with, she now works at a different Sephora, brought me a couple things. First off, she like hand painted this little chest, which is so cute. And she also gave me this candle, which is hand poured. And it's a cute little guy, like I love the little jar, like this just sitting in the bathroom would be really cute. But it's like super fresh. This is definitely like a bathroom scent to me. So I'm definitely gonna burn this like in my guest bathroom. So she gave me those, but she also printed out a picture of a t-shirt that she's having made and I love it so much. This is so me. So it says, only you can prevent drama. Look at that freaking llama. It's totally something I would pick out. So, so cute. She knows me well. And people from work actually like collected money for me to like, you know, buy some stuff for my house and stuff, which I thought was so sweet because that's all I've been wanting to do is like decorate and buy things. And I did a lot of that today, but this will definitely come in handy because I still want to buy like furniture pieces. So this is a really good start. But more meaningful than that is the card. One of the girls I worked with is so freaking talented so she drew this card and I just have to show you like I've already posted about it and like not only did she do me but these little people right here the detail is so amazing like I know who each and every person is supposed to be like based off of like the skin tone the hair and all that so like I looked at every single little person on here and I was like I know who that is I know who that is and it's just so cute I really love it like I knew she was talented and I was like Loki hoping she would draw me a card um, because they're just honestly I think they're really precious and um, you guys have probably seen I have a picture of 
a porg, like the little animal from Star Wars that's drawn like a cactus. And it was actually the idea of my friend who got me these things and the artistic skill of the other girl. <laughs> so thank you both for that. Um, but I keep my I keep my little cactus porg. It's laminated and it's up here like r this little line right here is like a triangular little like memo thing where you can hang it on it and I keep it at all times um, <laughs> right there because it's amazing. So anyway, my camera's probably gonna die soon but I wanted to say that and I do not know how to feel right now. I had a couple drinks. They definitely went a little hard on the, <laughs> the alcohol in them. Um, so I was like, you know, I was in a good buzz and like having a good time and we laughed a lot and chit chat and, and it was it was really good to see everybody before I left but I was a little sad I did get like a little teary eyed on the way home but we were like laughing so much that I didn't have to feel like you know too sad about it but it's very different like as every day has gotten closer to me actually being done I've grown just a little tiny bit more hesitant um because I have been there for four years and it has I think leaving or you know losing what you have always makes you appreciate it more but leaving has definitely full-on graduation goggles like I'm definitely like oh you know a little reminiscent but it's been good and you know I feel like I'm on the right track so my camera died <laughs> I decided to just film a quick clip on my phone and and kind of like a wrap up but um thank you guys so much for your support in my recent videos honestly it means so much to me and like without your guys' support like I would never feel comfortable enough to like take this leap but I really appreciate um everything you guys do for me I do plan to work really hard on making my videos better and doing different things so you guys give me really good suggestions and I do have a few suggestions right now that I'm just like waiting to get settled back down um, I'm definitely going to do the palette tag somebody else asked for like a Sephora wish list video I will definitely make those videos for you lots more to come so anyway thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you later hey Sandy hey guys so it is Monday, so I'm officially not working a real job. <laughs> what the hell? Um, anyway, so I know I talked to you guys last night. Um, today I have, I need to do a lot of stuff, um, but I'm still waiting to find out like when we can actually move some stuff into the house. So I'm about to make some coffee. I'm going to finish editing up a video I'm gonna put up tonight. I'll probably put this vlog up tomorrow or the next day um and I, i'll try to do like one more video this week but i'm mostly going to focus on trying to get everything ready to move so that the moment we are ready i can move things um and i already started getting like a couple packages at that address so i'm like shit um and I'm, nobody's going to be there unless they're working on stuff and hopefully if they are maybe they can just throw my stuff inside so we moved some boxes over here because the cats love to try to get in the fireplace but we have this little like fireplace cover and the tools so we actually sold it and we got like half what we paid for it so I was like sweet we're trying to sell this little tv stand because I absolutely hate it it's like so bachelor pad <laughs> um but I got a really cute new entertainment center that's at my parents I shipped it there because it's way closer um, to where we're gonna be living and then I've still got boxes everywhere. I did do some damage at home goods and TJ Maxx So I've got um, these bags that one that one I'll do a decor haul and then Zach cleaned up the bathroom it's so much nicer So we just like clean the counters and mirrors and whatnot So I need to go through this and like set aside everything that I'm gonna be using for the next week Hopefully it's just a week and then I need to clean this thing and pack that away. But I've still got like, the bathroom is still pretty chocked full of stuff. Like I've gone through the drawers, but I haven't packed anything away. This is still like the same situation too. There's a lot of stuff in here, but for the most part, it's just going to be like, you know, I'm just going to move these containers. So it's not too bad. My house is just a mess. It's just not going to be better until we move, but I need to do all the finishing touches to get ready. I might have to wash a coffee cup. Okay. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Coffee time! Hi, baby. Hello, baby. What you doing? They put their food up on a box to elevate it so they didn't have to strain their neck because they got elevated bowls coming. I need to check those orders, too. These are taking slow. They're going slow. You got food in your water fountain? Damn it. 
so I'm gonna do coffee editing, get this video ready to go up, and then I'm gonna start working on, I don't know, there's lots of stuff that need to be done. Carrie gets so aggressive. Hey, what you doing? It's a mess. But anyway, I'm just gonna focus on editing right now and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so <laughs> let me vent for a second about how frustrated I am. With all the rain in the area, I think I mentioned we're not able to get into the house quite as quick as I thought because they still need to pour the driveway and put sod in the yard. Basically finishing touches on the outside. We're kind of like in limbo just waiting for an opportunity so they can get that done and then let it sit and then we can go, right? So anyway, I have had, I've ordered things for the house. I think I've told you, I think I've told you guys. I ordered things, um, a lot of stuff from Zulily because they had really good home deals. So I went ahead and for a few of these things, the estimated delivery was like late July. So I went ahead and put the new address thinking that we'll be there or like worst case scenario, my parents are 10 minutes away from that house so they can go get the package or take it inside or whatever. So apparently, and I didn't know this because I'm not, I got like no notifications whatsoever, but apparently everything that's been tried to be delivered there, they're saying that there's multiple, multiple things being said. It's undeliverable, that the contact is incorrect, that the unit number is missing. Mind you, this is a house. Um, that the address is just straight up incorrect. One said that the address doesn't exist. So I'm so frustrated. So uh, one thing that I was really excited to have is I ordered a Dyson animal. Um, now they had like refurbished ones. They're like, you know, guaranteed, like you can return it if it's not good. And it was like $250 with shipping and tax and all. And so I was really excited, but it was supposed to be back ordered. So I wasn't expecting this to come until like very late July or in August, probably August. Well, they must have like miscalculated and they're like, oh wait, we can ship it now. So they shipped it and it literally like it was shipped it got had delivery issues they finally said it was undeliverable then they shipped it back then the receiver got it back and i never got a notification out of any of this like it's not like oh we're having issues can we check your address nothing nothing no emails no phone calls nothing so they sent it back and I finally saw that it got there yesterday. This was the day I started like looking into all this and they said, oh, we can't, we can't reship it. So here you get a refund. I know I wanted my freaking vacuum. I really wanted that because we have like hard floors in there and I wanted like a vacuum that was really good on, you know, flat floors, but I could also use on rugs because my vacuum I have now is great on carpet, but it sucks on like hardwood floors, tile, anything like that. It's horrible. So I'm so frustrated, but this is like every single thing that just happened to be shipped early, which, you know, I shouldn't complain obviously, but like everything is saying the address isn't like, it's not there. And I'm like, it's a house. It's right there. I don't understand. The Dyson actually was sent to somebody else's house, which has one number different in the number. And so they were assuming that their, the incorrect number was on there. No, it was the right number. They just put it at the wrong house. And so I finally got in touch. I did a live chat with UPS. I talked to Zoo Lily customer service twice. And then finally I got a call from UPS and she was like, hey, honey, I'm sorry you're having trouble. <laughs> and I said, look, I said, I don't know what's going on. It's like, if I need to change the address, let me know. Like if there's something that I don't know, but I have double and triple checked this address with the owner of the house, with you know, everybody. And she said, is it an apartment? I said, no, like it's not an apartment. And she said, yeah, this person said that the, the, the place doesn't exist. And I said, look, the only thing I can think is that the mailbox is across the street. And I think they're probably going to put it on the same side of the street, but it's facing the house, like right across the street. And there's no house in front of it. Like it's a vacant area and the mailbox is facing our house. I said, the only thing I can think is that that's confusing them but the house is right across the street i said it's a one-story house i just tried to describe it i said look the yard is not finished i said maybe it just looks like nobody lives there but you know it's like a dirt yard at this point because they're not finished i said that's the only thing i could think maybe it's that i don't know and she said okay well i'm gonna have it re-delivered this is another item like something else and there's one out for delivery today i know that in a couple hours they'll probably say that they can't deliver it and there'll be another issue um one item was sitting in the actual city where zag works and she's like well you can come pick it up i said hey you know what 
it's kind of perfect. My boyfriend works there. Can he come get it? And she said, he has to have an ID with the same address on it. And I'm like, look, we have not changed addresses 100% yet. We're in the process of moving to this place. What can I do? Like, I'm so frustrated. So everything that I could, I changed to my parents' address. And then get this, because it couldn't be any more annoying for me. I had ordered from Shein, so it's coming DHL. And I had my new address, and I was like, fuck. And I was like, with all these issues, let me change it. And they're actually a lot better. Like, you can change your address, like, mid-shipment. So I was like, let me change it. So I changed it to my parents' address, where I literally just had stuff shipped from Zulily to my parents, like, a month ago. And I got an email today that says, that address is wrong. <laughs> I had a package coming from Kopari, and it was going to come here, and it was supposed to be here yesterday and then i got an email that said oops we accidentally sorted it into the wrong area it's going to be here thursday and then like i kid you not i am having like the worst luck and now i'm just afraid like if anybody sends me anything to my new address i don't know what's going to happen like unless we are moved in like do i need to go get giant numbers to put on the house that says the number otherwise i don't know what to do i'm so frustrated and i'm not there and it's like an hour and a half away and so i'm not just gonna like run up and down the road every every time something happens i'm so confused i'm so lost so anyway i at this point am so frustrated i've been working on this for two hours like trying to contact people trying to chat trying to email and figure out what's going on and you know i'm only getting like a little bit like i've basically i'm getting a refund for the vacuum that i actually wanted the vacuum that's the only thing i've really accomplished and then i gave a description of the house to the ups person so that the person could hopefully find it and i'm so confused and frustrated so yeah i'm just gonna sit on the couch and eat something and watch a movie because at this point i can't stand to do anything else and this clip is eight minutes long Okay, so that's enough of my rant. I'm gonna chill for a while because I've been worked up about this stuff for two days now. And it's like literally my first real day free of Sephora, my first and second, I should say, are just full of nonsense and annoying stuff. Like not the most important thing in the world, but cumulatively, so annoying. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I was editing my vlog when I heard a noise. Bro. If you could only see how many police cars there are, there's got to be like a dozen. I have no idea what's going on, but... Ooh, Jesus.